All right, guys, today we're going to try a bit of a hyperlapse, time lapse, whatever you want to call it, shot today. We're in a park and a nice open area here where I can lift off from. And then just down that away, there is a busy street where I might be able to get some uh, cars moving in the behind the maps. So let's set it all up, take off, see what we can do here. Okay, it looks like we're doing real well. There's another minute and 20 seconds left for the mission, and I've got 12, 13 minutes of flight time left. And we're at 263 photos of 300. So it's coming near its end, and we'll see what happens here when it gets to 300 photos. Now in the camera, I can see the glare on the screen, but I can see the screen really well myself. Okay, 276 photos. 40, 40, sec 40 seconds left of video of uh, time and 12 minutes of flight time left. So we're good. We are just about at waypoint three. And it told me it was at nearing completion. Seven more photos. Eleven and a half minutes of flight time left. Two more photos. One more. That's it. Okay, it says creating video and the, the drone is just sitting there. So it does not return to home right away. Uh, let's see if I can see of any indication on how long of a time it's got. Yes, it's at 24 seconds done, or 24% done, 33% done. Right above the uh, video red button, 50% done. It just sits and hovers. 70% done. Ninety percent done, and that's three hundred photos, guys. Three hundred photos. Video synthesis completed. And it is completed. Camera rotation angle. Uh, I guess it just sits there. You have to press return home on its own. We'll turn to uh, normal video mode. And then we'll record and press the return home button. Go home. Go home. So it's on its way home. I'm assuming it would just sit out there and wait until I interact with it, figure out what it's, what it's supposed to do. And the we are. 180 feet from home, 224 feet high, 13 feet, 4 feet, and it's landing. So let's catch this landing here, guys. Oh, yes, I see it way up there. And it was off its mark by a little bit. Let's stop the recordings. And let's stop the internal recording. There we go. And let's shut down the uh, RC controller. 
and looks like our light on our drone the second one is flashing the 20 percent we are good let's turn the drone off a successful hyperlink Well, we had we finally had a successful uh, hyper hyperlapse or time lapse uh, video, whatever you want to call it. What I did was I shot a video, and I also shot 4K uh, RAW, which I can do a lot more in RAW than I can JPEG. Uh, there's a lot more. Um, A lot more I, you can deal with when it's in raw as opposed to I shoot in raw <laughs> anyways guys we're at the park as you can see here we're at a uh, basketball court tennis court badminton maybe whatever it is and we're at a workout place right here and there's swings and slides over at the other side. I've seen an iguana here today already, <laughs> sunning himself. Uh, anyways, let's head back home. I've got to stop off at the uh, pharmacia and pick up some uh, peroxide kind of uh, uh, mouthwash uh, to use to make sure everything's nice and clean. And I'm gonna use that for a little while here before I start using the hydrogen peroxide mix, so. Anyways, this is dentist uh, recommended peroxide kind of stuff, real nice tasting stuff. So let's head back home and let's have a look at the actual photos and maybe stitch those together and see the difference, what the final outcome is, whether it's uh, a lot more smooth. I, I see on YouTube that when you stitch your own in Photoshop, it looks a lot smoother than the drone itself. I've seen some pretty shitty uh, hyperlapse videos that the drone uh, edits as opposed to editing uh, post so okay guys let's head back home catch you in a bit